Wamba Community College is getting ready for its first football game of the 2020 season, a season that was shortened because of the coronavirus. WTVA's Bronson Woodruff has been spending the day today in Fulton on the campus, and we understand the game is actually sold out. He gives us a glimpse as to what fans can expect during this unusual season. It's going to be different. Head football coach Sean Cannon says the school is dealing with several issues because of coronavirus safety guidelines. He says two notable changes include the crowd size and a six-game regular season. Well, that's one thing we've always prided ourselves on here is having great crowds. In compliance with um, Executive Order 1519 from the governor, we um, have limited our capacity to 25%. Um, we've given two tickets to every one of our participants as well as the visiting team. And so that left us with tickets that we then provided to students and employees. ICC President Jay Allen said tickets will be entirely different this year. First off, they're free for all three of ICC's home games this season. Allen explained today tickets became available for students to get through a portal online. Tomorrow, the general public can go online and claim their tickets. If there's any tickets left over, it'll be open to the public after that tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. People scan the virtual tickets at the gate. So the band will be performing at halftime. Cheerleaders will be, will be performing on the field along with our dance and flag corps. So we'll have all of those same activities going on. Allen added the college will stream the game online on ICC's Red Channel. He added the band will be performing at halftime on the Blue Channel for people who can't get inside the stadium to watch. The game will also be on 101.9 Super Talk, Mississippi. Because the stadium is limited to 25% capacity, Allen said things are going to be very different here from what people are used to seeing at ICC football games. He said normally these stands are packed and they're used to having standing room only out here. However, this year people are going to have to space out. Allen said the college asks people to keep their masks on when traveling around the stadium, but can take them off when they sit down. Cannon said about 1,100 to 1,200 will be the maximum capacity in the stadium. He added no families can come on the field when the games are over. So moving forward, they're going to have to meet them outside the stadium now just because of uh, you know, the guidelines and the precautions that, that, that we've got set in place. However, through all the changes, Cannon said he's still happy to be playing football again. It'll be a little different uh, than what we had than what we've been used to, but but uh, I, I think our kids are are, are going to be be okay for sure.